Hi, I'm Tim Donnelly and I'm running for District 3 Supervisor. The reason I'm running is because the quality of life in our district and in the city has declined over the last 10 years. And I think it's time that somebody steps up and tries to right this ship. Uh, when I canvassed my neighbors about the issues that concern them the most, the number one thing was homelessness. Uh, our district has seen a big uptick in the number of homeless on our streets, and I think we, we need to address that. Uh, the city right now paints the homeless situation with a broad brush, and I think that's a mistake. There's people who are trying to get back on their feet, they had a little bit of bad luck, and they're perfect candidates for our shelters, where they can get a hot meal and go off to work, come back to a safe, secure environment, get looked after, maybe have counseling. Then there's people that need serious help because they have mental and physical disabilities. And we can't just let them wander our streets. That's just, that's criminal. So we need to have, work with our state and federal agencies to give them the help they need uh, so they can be looked after. We also have a large segment of people who just want to hang out in the city. Maybe that's okay, but I think that we need to offer them a way to improve their lives, a, a place to go and get job training and maybe do some good uh, for the community and uh, learn how to be self-sufficient in life. If they don't want to take advantage of that, I think we need to enforce the laws that we have to ensure that we have the quality of life that we deserve. Another issue that my neighbors are concerned with is parking. It keeps disappearing and people having to drive around endlessly looking for a place to park. So I think that's not a good situation for anybody and we need to create more off-street parking in our business districts so businesses, their customers, their employees, and the residents will have a place to park and not just drive around endlessly. Another issue that faces uh, our district is crime. It's been a huge uptick in vehicle and house break-ins. And I think part of that problem is many of the police officers, actually most, don't even live in San Francisco. We need to get them back in, especially if there's going to be an earthquake. We're going to need them close at hand. So I suggest we put them on a priority list, as well as other first responders and teachers, for our affordable housing that we're creating much of in the city. We can also offer the plum assignments to the officers who live in San Francisco. And also I think for recruits, they should spend some time in the business districts especially, working as beat cops, having a police presence, and also giving us a chance to evaluate how they interact with the community before we give them a gun and a badge. The other issues that are important, I think, are maintaining our city. We spend more than many states and much more than surrounding communities, and our streets are in bad repair, our parks are in bad repair, despite the fact we float bonds right and left to try to pay for these things. We need a better culture at City Hall that wants to look after the city and do the things that need doing. I also think our schools need some improvement. Half our students don't go to college, and we need to have vocational training so they can learn skills that will provide them with the means to raise a family and actually live in San Francisco. All the people I know who are plumbers and electricians and mechanics, they're making good money and they're very busy. So it wouldn't hurt to teach these skills again that they used to do so these people can support their, themselves and their families. First of all, I'd like to thank the League of Women Voters for this, allowing me to do this. And I'd like to thank you for listening and invite you to look at my website, td4d3.com. That's td, the number four, d3.com. And I thank you very much.